Let us now discuss about swapping using XOR or exclusive OR operation. So the truth table is if it is 0, 0, the result is 0. If it is 0, 1, it is 1. 1, 0, it is 1. 1, 1, it is 0. So same bits cancel each other. So when a value like Y is then exclusive OR with Y, it gives 0. For example, let's say y is equal to 5. So the binary representation is 1, 0, 1. So when you do 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, you get 0, 0, 0, which is nothing but 0 in decimal. So now we are going to use this property to swap two integer variables. So let's see how to do that. So now initially we have two variables x and y. So let's say x contains 5 and y contains 4. To begin with, we will XOR y with x. So it will be x value will be x exclusive or y. And y will remain y. So this is step 1. In the next step, we have to say y is equal to xr with the value of x. So, in the second step, x value will be xr y only, we are not touching it. But when you say this variable, okay, so this is a variable. So, when you are going to xr with the variable x, it is actually y xr x xr y. Because after the step 1, x contains this. So now what will happen? y and y will cancel each other 0. So it will become x xr 0 which is nothing but x. So now after step 2 y is containing the value of x. In the third step you are going to xr x and y. So which means x is currently containing x xr y and xr x. And why you are having it as such x. So now what will happen? This x xr x will cancel. So 0 xr y which is nothing but y. And here in the y value x will be there. So in three steps you can see that the values have switched. How? In place of x y is there. In place of y x is there. So let us go with the binary representation step 1 okay 5 x or 4 so 5 is 101 4 is 100 when you do an x or 100 which is 1 in decimal so this will contain 1 so y will contain 4 only in the next step this will still contain 1 and here what have you done y 4 is there right 4 x r this value x r x x r y what is it 1 so 4 it is 1 0 0 x r x r y we just now saw it is 1 so like this 1 0 1 this is nothing but 5 in decimal representation so this will have 5 so now you see x has come to y so in step 3 you are going to XR the value contained in X with the Y value. That is why it, this XR X came. So what is the value here? It is 1, right? So 1 is 0, 0, 1. So what is the value contained in Y? It is 5, 1, 0, 1. So when you XR, it is 0, 0, 1, which is nothing but 4. So now in place of X, 4 will be there. And in place of Y, the current X value is 5. It is retained as such. So now you see 5, 4 has been swapped to 4, 5. So this is the logic involved. So now let us try out the program in C. So we have int x comma y. So we will accept the input values. Okay. So initially we will say x is equal to x, x or y. Then we will say y is equal to y xr x. 
you can interchange also no problem then finally x is equal to x x or y so now you can do the print percentage d percentage d we will have a space we will print in the same way x y so now the values must be interchanged so we will have 11 and 99 so 99 11 is printed let us give one more example so we will give 400 and 93 so 93 400 is printed so based on our discussion please try out this program and thanks for watching